Hello YouTube, and welcome back to another episode of Linkus to Bushcraft. And today, I got a very, very, very exciting episode. Okay, so Joe Mobley made a video about a few months back, and I love the video. It is three melee weapons in a zombie apocalypse. Now... If you haven't yet, go to Feral Bushcraft and check out this video. It's freaking awesome. Uh, he's got some really, really unique items, too. Uh, he's got one that is like a spear point, so you can make arrows or whatever else. And the other one is made by Clinton Armstrong with Deer Creek Wilderness Outfitters. His, I think he's calling it the B2 or BK, I can't remember what he called it, but it's a really, really nice knife. So, if anything, go check that out. But yeah, so he said anybody that wanted to make a video, post it to his channel so he can check it out. So, I had to wear my Walking Dead t-shirt, of course. So, my three... First one is Ontario Rack. Now this thing has one of the most wicked skull crushers I have ever seen on any knife. Like I said, I convex this one. So, I mean, you get in close, this thing right here, I mean, you're doing some serious damage on this thing. Super light, 1095, high carbon steel. And that right there, I mean, that's gonna really, really, I mean, that, that's breaking bone. So. Number three. Number two, you guys have already seen me do a review on this. This is the Condor Moonstalker. You can seriously whip this thing. And this is still kind of lightweight. Now you're getting up on a little heavier end. But this thing is serious. Good swinger. And you're keeping them at good distance. So. That is... And if anybody comes around, you can give them another knife, and you'll still have a knife. So, like I said, this is a big, badass blade. So, number two. My number one is the East Wing Double-Headed Axe. This thing is full constructed. Double-sided head. Extremely sharp. And it's got rubberized handles, so it's almost like a hammer. You can throw this, hit them. I mean, this right here would just be the thing to go to. Zombie apocalypse, and you can get double handed on it. Go to town, take out some zombie heads. But yeah, and then out of all these, you can still make spears. Uh, you know how to make a bow. You make a bow, cut down trees with this. So by far, this would be my number one choice in a zombie apocalypse. So, if you guys like the video, hit the like button. Uh, if you want to hit any more or have any more notifications, sorry. <laughs> hit the subscribe button and bell pop up. You'll get notifications. But besides that, I want you guys to post in the bottom either pictures of your three melee weapons for a zombie apocalypse or make a video, uh, tag me, put, you know, let me know. I'm going to do the same thing with Joe Mobley. Like I said I got this from him. But besides that, thanks for watching. God bless. Hopefully no zombies come. Get out there and enjoy life. Get in the woods. Have fun. <laughs> thanks.